Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here. And then in this session, we are going to see about how to bypass the approvals in cyclic counting and physical inventory. So before going for the bypass of the approval, you will now see the, what is the need for it. Now I'm going to, uh, the other one, I'm now going to my uh, another login, another browser login now. So click on sign in now. I'm now signing at the SCM18 actually. So let me go on and sign in as SCM18. So we are now signing as SCM18 actually. So once when I sign in as the ACM team, I go to the what's called supply chain execution. I go to the supply chain execution. You know, find plenty of icons are there. Work definition, work execution, maintenance, quality, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everything is there. Supply orchestration, all these things are coming. And more than twelve icons of that. You can even some more things also can be added. So this is made possible in the vision. Fine, I'm now working on the visions one. So if you go on and see, so this this many icons are possible. If you go on and give only one simple rule lecture, I will not go to what five, not five. This one. I will now go to what uh, the Nana five, and then there I will now open up this. I will now go to the additional docs records four. There I will now go to the fifty eighth document. So if you go to the fifty eighth document, you know that these are all vision roles. So here, if you give OU SCM role, it will take care of everything on the vision actually. So this whenever you have what happens if you go there, if you go and then open this now, find on the fourth one. If you open the third file, the vision interface structure, and double click on it. The third zero three five. If you open it up, on the one. So here, this is the vision interface structure. So if you're working on US primary ledger, US chart of accounts, US legal entity, US business unit, and then US master org, and then child docs. Right. So child docs may be zero zero one, zero zero two, zero three, etc. Fine. There are plenty of child docs. Available. So if you're working on any of these child docs under this line of business, basically, so this many ones will be coming automatically for you. <clears throat> If you go there, so you will not have what I'm saying. This many ones now. If you go there, so this many icons will be coming if you give OU a CM role. And then in this place, what happens if you go to the inventory management? You know so all these icons are coming. Fine, go to the inventory management. <laughs> so now the question is what? Fine, click on it. I will not go to the counts now. Fine, I will not go to the inventory. I will not go to the counts. I go to the counts. And then I will not go to the manage cycle counts. Fine, click on the manage cycle counts. I am on org 001. Now. I'm on org 001 of active on it. And then if you go there, go to the actions, and then you can see we can very well what I want to do all these things, count schedules, count sequences, everything is there. But approve cycle count is also there. So there are two types of people who will be there on cyclic counting and physical entry. One is the data entry operator. So the data entry operator will be recording the cycle count sequences. What are all the people who have gone into the inventory and then what I mean, they will not give a parchi, the slip, whatever is mentioned, he will be recording it. And then he should not have the power to approve at all. Recording of count sequences is possible, but approval of cycle count is not should not be possible. So approval must be done only by the inventory in charge actually. So in such cases, what happens? We have to customize this role. And remember, OUSCM role cannot be customized. OUSCM role we cannot customize at all because it is a ready-made role. It is coming with the, what the roles as well as the data access built in. And if you go there and see, you will not find any data access at all for 001, 002 all now. And go that not. You'll not have a look at now. Click on it. We'll go to this place and then have a look at the data access. Mm -hmm. Go there. So I'll now have a look at the grid access. I'll go there. So click on it. I will now go there and then have a look at the grid access actually. <clears throat> go there. So we'll now go to this place. I'll now go to this place. I will now go to the grid access. Now fine, click on it. Manage grid access. So he is not having anything. In 17, I have removed everything and so it's not available now. Fine, go there. So I will now look at 18 itself. I'll now go to the 18. I'll click on that now. I will now have a look at the grid access. Click on it. I'll now go there. What is the setup and maintenance? Setup and maintenance is also built in the OU SCM role actually. So click on it. I will not go to the manage data access for you. This. Click on search now. Mm -hmm. I will not go to what? Manage data access. Manage facility. Data access. So go to the manage data access for users. Fine, go that. What? I will not query on 18 actually. Users with the data access. Fine, go that. I will not say SCM 18 dot student. And then give it app. And then you will not find any data access at all. Because all the data access are already inbuilt onto the OUSCM room. But if you go on then for 17, what happens? I remove the OUSCM room. I'll go there. I'll not show it to you. I go to the tools and then I go to the what's called I will now go there. So click on it. Oh, security console is there. In fact, click on security console is there. 17 itself, we have the security console. I will now go to the users and then show it to you. So you see um, what happens, you now see 17 dot student. So and then query now find SCM 17 dot student. If you go on the query for it. Now see what happens. I have removed the inventory manager and then I have now introduced my own. So A01 inventory manager, I have customized it and then brought it. So inventory manager has been removed. And then OUSCM role is also removed. The OUSCM role is responsible. And then OUSCM role is there means what inventory manager is not required. So I have now put my custom role over here. So click on that now. 
I will not go on the query the 18th round. Okay, okay. So the 18th, whatever, this is not there, but OESCM role is there. Okay, okay. Now, I'm not going to the OESCM role. 18th one. So 18th one, go there and query for it. So if you go there and then query for it, you will not see that what happens. Your OESCM role is there. Inventory manager is not there. No custom roles are there. So this is a very powerful role. It provides you every functionality for you. So since it is not in the 18th one, if you go there, click on the 18th one, go there. so nothing, not, no data access is done now, fine, click on the And then if you go on the query, my 17th, I have added one data access to you go there, 17th, if you click on search now, I have added one data access for this. It is what A01 inventory manager for my organization T10. For the 17th one, I have added now. So whenever you are going to create your own org, apart from the visions org, apart from the visions org, whenever you are creating it now, click on it. If you go there, if you go on the create your own org, <clears throat> if you go there, if you're going to create your own org, then what happens? That org must have the inventory manager role plus data access. And then there are four roles for inventory. One is the inventory manager role, one is the receiving agent, one is the warehouse manager, and then one is the shipping manager. So for each and everything, the role has to be added, and then the data access also be added, added because what happens? You are working on your own org, not that. So whenever you're working on the visions org, no role and then no data access is required if you give OESCM role actually. So that is what I want to first of all clarify now. So here. Go there. So in this place, what happens? I have not given this one. So I have not given what? Go there. So uh, I have not given uh, this one of mine. So OES same role is there. So 18th one. So this also I'm going to remove, and then I'm not going to create a custom role actually. So I'm going to create a custom role. Right? Custom role, and then attach it. So first of all, what happens? You go there. I'm in 18th one now. I will not go there and then see this one. Can I click on the home icon. So now he will be having everything now. Go there. If you go to the supply chain execution. Here you see, you got only two icons now. In the supply chain execution, it's got only two icons because what happens? I have not given only the inventory manager role, not the OESM role. So whereas in this place, if you go on and see, if you go there. So in this place, what happens? You're not seeing that. Right? If you go there and then see in this place, right? if you go to this place, you can now see everything now. Right? If you go to the supply chain execution, right? and then if you go there, go to the home icon and then have a look at the supply chain execution. There are 12 or more icons will be available. Right? Right? You'll be having 12 or more icons. <clears throat> you go to the supply chain execution, you got this many icons. Right, this many icons are available. So whereas for us, it is only two icons because I've given only a custom inventory role. So uh, in reality, you won't be having OESCM role in the field at all. In the OE, these are all only for the Oracle University's instances, actually. The inventory, all the functionalities will be available. PRC, all, all functions of procurement are available. And then G, uh, GSC, role for ACM, O2C, all the functions of order management are available. Right. So only for the inventory. Whereas in the field, you don't have any custom role at all available. If at all you want, you have to only create it by looking at it now. As well as, so well. Now, what I'm going to do is I will now create an inventory role and then remove the approach. Before removing the approach, whatever they go there, I will now click on the inventory management and then see the approval will be available here. I click on it. I will now go to the count. Now, fine, go to the counts. And then go to the manage cycle counts. 18 is not having customized. Fine, go that. Go you go to actions and then see approve cycle count is coming. So, the, what happens? The person who is going to record the counts should not approve at all. So, I have to remove it. And 17, I have already removed it. You can very well record the consequences, but approval will not be available. We will now have a look at the 17. Now, thank you. Now, we'll have a look at the 17. You know, go there. So, you know, go there. I will now go to the inventory management. Only two icons are there. I get the supply chain execution. Thank you. Click on the inventory management. <clears throat> and then go there. Click on it. And then I will now go to the count. Now, thank you. On this. Drop down and then go to the counts. And go to the counts. And then go to the manage cycle counts. Now, thank you. On the cycle counts. And then go there. Every count is available. Thank you. And then go to actions. And then go there. Here, record count sequences is available. Afterwards, approval is not available at all. After recording it, you cannot do anything at all. So the data entry operator must have only the recording of the counts, and then only inventory in charge must be able to approve it. Fine. So this I'm going to do. So I'm going to customize it by removing so many things actually. Fine. And there are some more things are also in this place. I'm going to go there. There are even uh, record re pre-approved consequences. So this also I'm going to remove. Fine. I will not remove the pre-approved consequences. Also I will remove it. Now. Fine. So I'm not removing it as well as approval. So pre-approved consequences as well as approval, both of them I'm going to remove. It. So record consequences will be the last one for this. Record count will be the last one. Right? The so I'm going to make it now. I'm going to customize the role. Right? This is the one of the famous requirement actually in this field. Right? We are going to see about how to customize it actually. Mm -hmm. So I'm now in this place. Now I click on how to customize this role. So first of all, what happens is there are three roles which are involved which needs a customization. One is the inventory approval management. Right? I will not go there. So select it. I will not query for the inventory approval management role. I will not click on the home icon. <clears throat> I will not click on the home icon. I will not go to the tools. No, fine. Go to the tools. Go to the tools. And then I go to the security console. In the roles area, I will not go on and see. No. In the roles area, fine. Go to the roles area. And then here, what happens? You go there. And then query for the role. No, fine. Paste it. Fine. What that will be coming. Inventory approval management. Ora. Fine. Click on it. 
and then if you go on then click on edit now fine we cannot edit it the standard rules we cannot be edited at all you can only see it actually so if you go to the what's called uh, uh, go to the role hierarchy you can now see that what happens the inventory approval management is the only uh, what happens the hierarchical role available if you go to the function security policies you can now see that there are so many things you click on the load integrated policies and go that command nothing is there so we have approved cycle count sequences this has to be removed approved physical element this is removed approved inventory balances need not be removed. So this, these two we are going to remove it by customizing it. So go that give a cancel. Let me copy the role and then customize it. I click on copy cancel. Okay. I'll go that drop it down. I will not copy it. I click on the copy role. So I'm going to copy with the inherited right? role. All the inherited roles also going to be copied. I click on copy role. I'm going to copy it. So since I already done on A01, I will not put out what? A02. A02. So in this one, what happens? It has to be capitals and then without any spaces actually, fine. Is A02 underscore. Right? No space at all. So the role code should not have any space. It must be capitals actually. So that all. And then what happens? You go to the role hierarchy, find directly. Click on the role hierarchy. You will not find this. So now your A02 inventory approval management is coming on the role hierarchy. So go to the function security policies and the role hierarchy. Jump over here now. You keep your cursor on the approve cycle count. Find, click on the load inherited policies also. Load inherited, nothing is there actually. So approve cycle count sequences, you delete it. So click on us now. There is a delete. And then go there. Approve physical adjustments also, I am deleting it. And go there. So delete it. And then approve inventory balances is okay. When that is not for us, actually. inventory balance is okay. Fine, go there. So that's done now. Fine. So the customized A zero to inventory approval management is not done. Fine. Click on the summary and, and then you know submit it. Fine. Click on submit. So once you submit it, your concurrent will be running. Your concurrent will be running for creating a new role actually. Right. Click on submit. Your concurrent will be running for this. So the concurrent number is what one two zero two nine seven. And then it can be seen on the administration tab on the left hand side. Fine. One two zero two nine seven. Click on OK now. Fine. In the left hand side, you go to the administration tab. So click on the administration tab. And then you go to the role status and click on the role status. And then here what happens, you can now see that the A02 is not complete actually. <clears throat> it's not complete. So the first role is now customized. Now we will not come to the second role. Second role is what? Inventory count manager. This has to be customized. We'll not take away. We'll not go there. We will not go to the space. I will not go to the roles again. I will not paste this role. Right. Paste this role. Inventory count management. And then here, Ora, I am choosing it now. I choose Ora. Choose the Ora. And go there. So go there. Click on copy now. And copy the role. And then copy all the inherited roles. The inherited also is going to be copied. Thank you, copy copy. Everything is now copied. So here, what happens? I will not say is what A02. Right. And then the role code is what? Capital A. Capital A02 underscore. And what else? Okay. Go there. Now click on the role hierarchy directly. So whatever you have created, that will be coming as well. And there is one more thing, item inquiry, it doesn't matter. Fine. These two things are there. Right? So it's all there. Go there. So click on it and then go to the function security. If you click on the function security, then what happens? You go there. I will now load all the inherited roles also. Fine. Nothing is coming as an inherited. Fine. Go there. I will now go to the query mode and then query for the approval. APP and then query. APP, RO, approve and then query. So you now see what happens. Approve cycle count sequences is there. Fine. Click on it and then I will not delete it. Now, if it is the inherited one, you cannot delete it. If it is no, no inherited, it is, a, it, is a, it, is a, it is a native one. This is a native one of this A02 inventory command. Then fine. I can delete it. Approve cycle count sequences. Fine. Click on delete. I'm deleting it. And then similarly, what I was approved, physical inventory, fine, go that you want, I'm deleting it. I'm deleting it. And then record pre-approved also, I'm not deleting it. Sometimes what happens, you do not want even the, the, uh, the inventory boy should not do even this also. Record pre-approved cycle sequences also. Fine, go that. I'm not deleting it also. So we are now customized these two roles. So all the approval. If you go to the approval, there is no approval at all on the inventory count management. So go to the summary and go to the summary. And then here again, submit and close. Now, what happens? One more concurrent will be running for creating a new role actually. Thank you for submit. So, a new concurrent will be running. So, it's called 102, 120, 298 is now submitted. Okay. And then go to the administration and look at it. Now. You go to the administration. And then the administration, what happens? You go to the role status. It's now processing. So, if you click on refresh, what happens? It will be getting processed actually. It takes some time now. It's now completed. Now, the third one is what? The big one, inventory manager. We will not go to the inventory manager. So, we will not go there. And then we will not customize the inventory manager actually. So go to the roles, now if I click on the roles, and then paste this now. Inventory manager role, I'm pasting it. I will not choose the ORA now. The ORA, I'm choosing it. So go there. So click on the ORA. I will not make a copy. If I click on it, no good to this. I will not copy role. <clears throat> so go there. Copy along with the inheritation. I click on copy role. You're not copying it. There's no copy. I'll go there. I will not say it's a E02 space. And then here, you go there. I will not say capital E02 underscore. So go there. After having given this, what happens? You go to the role hierarchy. We are giving a role here. It's a very big role, actually. Fine, go there. So click on it. So now coming. So many things are coming now. Now what happens? You go there. You go to the function security policies and then look at the approval. 
approve on the entry. So go there and then load the inherited policies also. You know, load the inherited policies. You know, coming. A lot of things will be coming. So click on it and then you'll be getting plenty on this. Thing. So go there. Now, inventory cycle count sequences, it belongs to inventory approval management. So you cannot delete it. The delete account is not coming. If it is a native privilege, then we can delete it. If it is the inherited one, inherited role is now responsible for it, you cannot delete it. The next one is what the approval cycle count using responsive inventory fine. Go there. I'm not, I cannot delete it because if you have to go then customize this rule also, that is not required because the responsive inventory is yet to come actually. When you go via inventory, no, then only it will be coming up, right? Inventory, no, it will be coming from 25C actually. Is what is. Approve inventory balances, I'm not interested. Is okay. Right? Approve physical adjustment right? is again on the inventory approval management and not belong to this one. Inventory administration, right? Right? Not inventory management. This is movement records is okay. We don't record pre approved cycle sequences, it again belongs to inventory account management. So, this many approvals are there, right? Nothing can be done anything. So what I do is I will now remove the role itself. Remove the role and then insert our role actually. Right? These are all standard roles are there. Right? Let me go the go to the role hierarchy and then remove the roles actually. You know, go there. So click on it. I will now remove the roles. Right? First of all, whatever I will now query for the inventory approval management and then I will now remove it. Fine, go there, click on it. I will now paste it and then query for it. Query for it. It will be done. So select it and then what happens? You delete it now. <clears throat> and then insert ours now. Fine, click on it. Insert ours. It is now going to be deleted now. Now delete it from the now what happens i will not say go there go to the home fine. a02 space and then enter now uh, it's not coming here now, fine. click on add role i will not take a copy of it i will not click on the add role I click on the add role and then here i will not put this one i will not paste it and then query for it so it's coming now fine click on it so inventory approval management i'm going to query for it select it and then click on add role membership that is no added and then the next one also what happens you'll go there count management you know query delete and then add hours take a copy of it now go there so what happens give it close now in this place, what happens? You go there. I will now query my inventory count management and then enter. So this is the one. Now. So there are three things are coming. I will now delete one and then we will now see where all the three are going away now. Fine. Go there. So here, what happens? I'm not an expert on the and the what happens? The customization or role now. Fine. Go there. So one is the detail, duty role OBA, one is the GSC, and another is also GSC. So let me delete the OBA and then see whether all of the things are going away now. Fine. Click on it. I will now delete it. I click on delete. I click on this one. It is not deleted now. Fine. Go there. So what I do is I will now. So go to the next one, then I will not summarize it and then I will not save it. Actually. So click on summarize, summary, and then click on submit close. What happens? It will now get what happens? A new role gets registered. I click on submit close. A new concurrent will be running. Fine. 120299 is now running. Now, fine. Click on again. Okay. A new role is now getting created. I go to the administration, fine. Go to the administration, and then here, what happens? You go to the role status and then see what happens. There's no processing. So, this is a big concurrent, big role. So, what happens? It will not take a long time. No, it may even take some five minutes. No, fine. I will now pass my uh, recording. And then you'll not come. No, it is got completed. Okay, fine. Good, beautiful. It is got completed. So A zero to inventory manager role is not completed. Now we'll not go there. Fine, click on it. We'll not query over A zero to. I will not go there. I will not query what A zero to space and then inventory. In not inventory account manager. I will not query what you are this thing. I will not query the inventory manager itself. No go there. Click on it. We'll not take off the inventory manager. No fine. I will not hear itself. I will not write. What happens? A zero to space. No the capital. No the capital. I will not write small. Mm -hmm. so, is it? so small. So A zero to inventory manager. So we'll not take a copy of it, and then I will now query for this. No, we'll query for this. It is already created actually. Now you can query. You click on it. You know, querying it. So we'll now go to the edit mode. Now. Click on edit. So click on edit mode. Now. <clears throat> so I will now go to the role hierarchy, and then I will now see for the approvals. So, click on it. Approvals. A P P R O, and then enter now. So go there. So now what happens? You are A zero to approval management is there. Fine. We have approval cycle count. Fine, go there. This is there. Fine. This is again for A zero to actually. Fine. Everything is A zero to. It doesn't matter. Fine. So now that means what? Your this thing is not there. Inventory count management. We'll now go and then query your inventory count management. We'll now see we have already deleted it. We'll now go there and then see. We'll now go to the inventory count management entry. Now I deleted it. Now see. Fine. It is not a delete actually. These two things are not deleted. Fine. So I will now delete. My, but these two things, what happens? They are coming from A zero to inventory manager role. Fine. It's okay. Uh, uh, I will not delete it. I am not very sure about it. Fine, so let me delete this thing because I will have to add role name is also what A02 only. Fine, the role is not fine. I will not delete this. Fine, click on delete it. And then click on yes. No, fine, click on it. And then do it. You do an R&D on this. No, fine, click on. I am not deleting so many things. No, fine, click on. It may not be required that much. No, click on it. And then click on summary and then save and close. This time, what about the no concurrent will not. It will only simply save it because the role is already made. Since the role is already made, fine, go there. Now we will go there. I will not query for this. No, fine, click on it. A2 inventory manager role. Fine, enter now. We will go there. <laughs> Is coming? So click on it. Now bring it edit mode. Edit row. So go there. Go to the role hierarchy. And then this time, what happens? I will now go query on inventory count management. Now go there. 
So inventory account management, I'm going to query it and nothing should be available. So nothing is available. So everything has been deleted. So I'm not very sure what I only did the OBA plus other things also. Fine. OBA is only sufficient or not, you make an RD now. I click on add role. I'm going to add a role. I'm going to say A02. Space on that inventory manager. So this is a ready now. Fine. Inventory account management is available. Fine. Click on it. So here, inventory account management is available. Fine. This is what is fine for that. So choose this inventory account management. Fine. Select it and click on add role version. You know, I don't know. Click on it. Go there. So click on it. I will now save and close. So inventory account management is there. Fine. Go on. So now initially what happens is we have added the inventory approval management. Now what happens is the other one. So we'll now go there and then we'll now query the inventory approval management also is there or not. Is the A02 space now. The small A. I will now query for this now. Take off it. It's already added now. I will now query for this A02. Paste it and then see now. The inventory approval management. So this is not added actually. Let me do one thing. I will now give a save and close and then come out of it. Now I'm going to do summary. So click on it, save and close, and then come out of it. And then again, edit it. Right? Click on it. So click on it. <clears throat> so click on it, edit code. And then go there. I will now go to the role hierarchy. I will now query for it. Right? So go there. So click on query now. Right? In the A02, inventory approval management, you will now see whether it is there. Right? Inventory approval management is there. So similarly, what happens, you will now go there. Query for the A02, inventory account management. Right? The A02, right? inventory account management is also there. Right? So on this thing, you will go there, click on it. I will now query for the inventory account management. And then enter in the account management. So both the customized roles are added and then the original roles are deleted. Now, if you go to the function security policy, it's all added. Now, I click on it. Go to the function security policy. You go there. And then here, I'll now go for approval. So you should not have any approval at all. Fine. Approval. Even if you roll the inherent policy, you don't have any approvals. So the moment request approvals will be there. Fine. So inventory moment request approvals there. Fine. Manage count sequence. Fine, count sequence for the, to approve. Fine, with the inventory count management, it says, but what happens? It is really not there. Actually, yeah. approve cycle count using responsive is okay. Fine, but manage count sequence to approve is not coming via this. No, fine. So, this belongs to our inventory count only. Inventory count management, actually. Why it's coming? We have to see. No, fine. Count sequence. We will not give a cancel now. Fine, go there. Come on, cancel. I will not go to the what happens? The summary. And then what happens? We give a save and close now. Fine, save and close. Sometimes what happens? Uh, it will be what happens. You go there, click on edit now. You click on edit code. <clears throat> and I'll go there and click on edit code. And then you go to the function security policy and then click on approve. Mm -hmm. Approve and enter. So here, if you put the load in it, policies, here, what happens? You should not get that approval option. Right? There is one approval just coming. Right? Well, so go manage count sequence to approve now. Fine. Hello, management count sequence. So uh, the inventory management role for inventory count management, it has to be removed. Fine. Manage the count sequence to approve. So I will know. Populate A02 inventory account manager. I give a cancel. I give a cancel. Now go there. So inventory account manager. This is one. Take away it. We'll not see to it about how it is there now. No page. Event inventory account manager. This is one. Now I click on it. I will not go on the edit. I click on it. I will edit it. Edit the role. I will not go to the function security policies directly. And then what happens? I will not go on that. Click on approve. 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 I will go and then enter. Now fine. So we have managed account sequences to approve is coming. Fine. This has to be deleted actually. I forgot to find there's a mistake actually. So go there. They go to the load inherited policies also. Fine. Nothing is there. This is the only one. I click on delete. So now all the approvals are deleted actually. And then click on summary and then save and close. So now everything has been done. So the inventory account management as well as your what happens, your inventory manager has been pushed into this place. Let us now query and then see whether there is no approval at all. Fine. Go to the easy to I'm going to make a check now. Go there. Now make a check. Easy to inventory manager. We go there. I click on it. Now bring it to the edit. I'm bring it to the edit mode. And then go to the Role uh, function security policies and then query for the approval. Fine. Now go there. So click on the load in policies also. And then here, the other thing, I'll we'll go for approval. Approval is there. Fine. Go there. Now say entering now. You won't find anything at all. Approve inventory balance is there. Fine. Responsive is there. Moment request is there. Is okay. Not the cyclic outtake and physical limit. So it's all perfect actually. Fine. Go there. So clear cancel. No, fine. Give cancel. Now the role is now created. So only for the first time it will now run a yeah, ESS job. And then that can be seen on the administration. If you go to the administration first time, you go there, it has to get completed. Now we are going to assign it to our employee, right? EAP 18. So if you go there, click on it. Now I'm now working on EAP 18 only. So there is CM 18, right? CM 18. And then if you go there, if you go to this place, right? there are plenty of things that are available. Right? Click on it. You know, see what happens on the supply chain execution. We have so many roles because of the OESCM role. So this I'm going to remove, and then I will now put my custom role over here. Right? Click on it. Now go there. Go to the tools. And then you go to the security console. So before which, what happens? I will now again see if I go to the inventory manager. If I click on it, I will now show you that the approval is available for 18. Supply chain execution. 
and then I go to the inventory management. I will not show you the approval is available for this one. I click on it. I will not go to the account. Now I click on the account. And then go to the manage cycle accounts. Now I click on the accounts. I am working on 001 ARC. I go there. And then go there. Click on actions. And then go there. The approval is there. The record pre-approved is also removed. So now, once when I put my custom role, after account sequences, nothing will be there. This will be the last entry on the actions actually. And then we are now working on 001. If you click on change or when you go to drop down, all the visions are will be coming here. Now, once when I put it, nothing will come. Even 001 also will not come because it is on the OESCM role. When you will not be able to change the organization at all. I will not give a cancel. So now what happens? I will not click on the home icon. I will not go to the what? Security console. This is, you have to do in a trial and error basis. You find so many things, you have to think, think, and then do it now. You, know, you go to the tools, something controls, and then what happens? You go there. I will not go to the security console. <clears throat> I will not go to the users and then query the 18th user. I go to the user, and then let me query the 18th user. With the SCM 18. I go there, click on it. I will not remove the OESCM role. Fine, I'll not go there. I will not remove the OEMCM role. So go there. I will not bring it to edit mode. I will not bring it to edit mode. And then the edit mode, what happens? I'm going to remove it now. My OESCM role. Click on it and then click on X. X. I will not delete it now. I will not delete it. Fine, click on this. I will not add my A02. Fine, click on add role. I will not add my A02 role. A02, I'm going to add. So inventory manager role, I'm adding it now. I click on it. Select and click on add role membership. No doubt. And then what happens? This is the inventory manager is being added. That is being removed now. So click on save and close by which what happens? The activity is not complete. Now this guy cannot approve at all. SCM18 cannot approve because there are the, what happens? The other things also. Two approvals have been removed. Click on save and close. Now we will not give a data access for him. Since we are given a inventory manager separately, then what happens? We have to give a data access. Click on no. Along with that, click on it. Along with that. This is not available. The setup and maintenance is also lost because OESCM role is not there. So that is also removed now. Fine, go there. So nowhere it is available now. Fine, go So what I do is I will go and then log in as 19 and then what happens? Add the data access. 19 will be having everything. Fine, click on it. I will not go there. So click on it. Sign out and then I will not log in as 19 actually. So 19 will be having a setup and maintenance because now setup and maintenance is also lost actually because the OECM role is not now. Fine, go there. So I will not go there. Sign out and then we will not sign in as what? OU uh, ACM 19 now. Fine, that is having everything. So from there, what happens? We will not give the data access for the T101 org. So that is again, what happens? Below this one now. Fine, click on it. I don't go there. So it's not working, working, working. So the top, what happens is not working. It's not even signing a lot. Of, signing out is not taking a longer time, actually. <clears throat> Sometimes what happens is it will not take a longer time, actually. <clears throat> so we go there. And then afterwards, we'll not log in as what? A CM19, actually. <sighs> not taking a longer time. I don't go to the space. I will not click on that now. You know, see, we'll not try to log out of this one. In the um, Chrome browser, I will not try to sign out now. I click on it. That's why it's fine or lost. So go there. I will now simply change it to what 19 now. Fine. I will now say delete it and then 19. And then click on sign in. So we are now signing with 19. So 19 will be having the setup and maintenance now fine because OECM role is not there. But here, what happens? I will now give a save also. Click on it. I will now go there. You will now find the setup and maintenance. Fine. Go there. Now I will now go to the manage data access and then do it. I click on manage data access. And then provide the data access for me or click on search now. Fine. Click on search. I will now go to the what manage data access. Manage percentage mean data percentage access plus I will not go to the manage data access and do that. I will not I will not add for the 18 user now. Click on plus one point. SCM 18, I'm going to add. So SCM 18 is the one. I'm going to choose it now. So this is the inventory manager. Now find the A02 is the role now. Role name is what A02. So choose the A02 inventory manager. Go there. So this is for the inventory order. Since it's customized, everything is coming. Go there. I will not put what P101. <laughs> So this is the only org you can access. No other org. Click on save and close. Now all the setups are complete. Now what happens? We have to run the import user role now. Fine. That is very important. So that will now sync all your setups into the transaction systems. Now fine. Click on it. Go to the home now. Fine. Click on home. And then I'll not do it. Now go there. I will not go and then do it. I'll not go to what? Tools. And then go to the schedule process. I'll not go to the tools. And then click on the schedule process. And then here we are going to run the import user role. Fine. Click on it. That will now sync all your setups into the transaction systems. Import percentage fine, user percentage fine, role percentage in the tab. Import user role. So this will now sync all your setups into transactions and fine click on OK now. And then once when it is there is no there is no parameters, fine click on submit now. Click on OK now. Someone 04 is running fine. Refresh it. It will not take some approximately five minutes because it's a very big program now. Fine click on it. Not running. Running. Not running. So by this, what happens? We are now removing the approvals, both the approvals. Both the approvals, fine. One of the pre-approved ones, 
and that one is the normal approach. So both of them will be removed actually. One when you sink it actually. So now sinking is happening now. So wait for some time and then afterwards what happens is uh, take approximately five minutes actually. So almost three minutes have gone now. Fine. You know, see, it must have synced it actually. Go back home. So let us know log out and log in as 17 actually. Click on it. Don't sign out. Not sign in as 17 actually. So click on confirm now. So I'm not going to sign in as 80, not 89, but 18 actually. So I will not go there. I will not choose 18. When 80 is the one. Fine. Click on sign in. We are not signing in as 18 actually. And then you will not go to what? I will not go there. I will not close it. Come back now here, what happens? I go there. I will not go to what? Supply chain execution. If you go to the supply chain execution, only two icons has to come. It's coming. Previously, there are 12 icons. Fine. On inventory management. So click on the inventory management. Now go there. Click on it. Now start on it. Click on it. Now go there. And then here, what happens? Drop down. I will not go to the console. There are plenty of shipments. Everything is there. Everything is removed, actually. Fine. You have got picks, shipments. Everything is there. So we have got only two entries. Now click on counts. I will not go to the counts. I will not go to the manage cycle counts. You will have only one org now, fine, T101. You cannot change the org at all. But the change the org itself is not coming because he has got access only to one org. Now. Fine, go to the select it. And then if you go to the actions, now I click on it. If you go to the actions and then see what happens. Record count sequence is coming. Afterwards, no approval at all. The pre approved is gone and then the approval is also gone. So approval is gone. He is a data entry operator. He will only record the count sequences. They cannot approve at all. Fine, go on. So click on that. You now go and then have a look at the physical inventory also. Fine, click on it. So go there. In the physical inventory, I will not go to the manage physical inventory. It's fine. The plan and execution actually model. And then go there. I will not click on search. No, fine. Click on search. Now see, on the T101, nothing is shown here. No, fine. Go on. Nothing is there. Actually. There is no physical inventory at all. When you go to the actions. No, fine. Go to the actions. So click on the actions. Here also what happens, you will not see the record is not coming at all. Okay? Record is not coming. When the approval is not coming at all. There is no approval at all. Purchase there. Post is there. Record is there. But there is no approval at all. We'll now log in as 18 and then 19 and then see now, fine, whether there is a separate entry. So record is there, post is there, purge is there, but there is no approval at all of the physical inventory. We'll now log in as what? 19 and then see now. We'll now go there and then log in as 19. Now. Fine, on, fine, on. Sign out and then see. We'll now log in as 19 actually. Go there. So we are now logging in as what? We'll now go on. Uh, we are now logged in as what? 18, uh, uh, changed in 19. Now we'll now log in as 19. Now. So let us know that login as 19. So in the 19, what happens if you go there and then you will now go to the what's called everything will be available on the 19 actually. You go to the supply chain execution, then you go to the inventory management of all the icons are coming back to all this. And then you click on it and then go to the account now. And here, what happens? All the five are available now. Now only inventory and counts are there. Remember, uh, custom inventory role, nothing is available. I go there. I'll now go to the counts. And then here, what happens? I go to the physical manager, physical inventory. Now I click on it. So it can be anything. Now I click on search now. The 001 org is also coming. Fine. Something is coming. You go to the actions. Here, what happens? You got approved physical inventories. So this is removed actually. I mean, record is there. Post is there. Purge is there in our, in our 18. What happens? Record, post, and purge is there, but not approved. So approval has been removed. So this way, we have to customize whatever you want to remove from this. One. This is one of the famous requirements because the person, the data entry operator should not approve it. Only the inventory in charge is not approved. And remember, in the field, you won't have the OUSCM role at all. The OUSCM role is giving you a lot of power, actually. So you'll have a lot of powers on the OUSCM role now. This one, we have here. So you won't find this customized role in your uh, implementation, in your field. And the, custom, the customer's uh, login, you won't find this. You only have to create all the roles and then do it. Any customization of the roles, you only have to do it. So this completes how to remove the approvals from cyclic counting and physical inventory. Now, right? If you have any doubts, fine. I know what happens. You go there. You can even what are you enabling? You can what happens? You can even what happens? You communicate to me. Fine. Go there. My mobile number is what plus ninety one nine eight four one eight six seven nine two four, and then my mail ID is what nana dot up sixty. Fine. Under it, gmail dot com. So you can communicate to me in any other business for any clarification, actually. Even though I'm not a good expert on this, no, fine. I'm not an expert on uh, role customization. Uh, I did it. This also, I did it on a trial and error basis. On a trial and error method only, I did it now. Oh, God. <laughs> it is not. It's a small end, no, fine. Small end. Small end. Not that 60. And then this is my mobile number. Or it's a WhatsApp number, actually. So you can communicate to me, fine. So best wishes for a prosperous career. Then so so many roles need to be customized, and then you have to only think, think, and then do it now. Fine. Depending upon the need, what happens, you can customize anything. So bye for now. <clears throat> I hope that you understood it now. Fine. Over there. Over there. No, no. Bye for it. No. See on some other videos.
and bye.